Question number 12, the Honourable Louise Upstrom. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Social Development and asks, does she stand by all her ministry's recent decisions and actions? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Carmel Cipollone. I stand 100 per cent behind my ministry and the thousands of frontline staff who work every day to support New Zealanders in need of assistance. However, for nine years, they worked under the previous government's punitive and deficit-focused policy settings. This influenced practice at MSD, and as a result, some mistakes still occur. I'm working with MSD order, to undo order, the damage. Order, order. A port of order, the Honourable uh, Mr Speaker, you've been uh, very, very uh, good, I think, at making sure that ministers answered questions that related to their ministries without making uh, reference to uh, the past government or past policies or other such. How does your past uh, rule, how do your past rulings uh, sit with the, the way that question is just being answered, which is highly political uh, and making points that are not relevant to the question, uh, but gratuitous in the extreme? And, and I think if the member had listened to the phrase after the one he objected to, he would have seen the context uh, which, in my opinion, uh, made it uh, well marginal and acceptable answer. Camille Cipollone. Order. If we are then, sir, to learn from uh, the uh, phrase and the ability of a phrase to put something into context, can we now expect to be able to use that same technique in the asking of primary questions? I will consider primary questions on a case-by-case -case basis. No, no, the member hadn't finished. This influenced practice at MSD, and as a result, some mistakes still occur. I'm working with MSD to undo the damage to ensure every New Zealander seeking support, whether they be a young unemployed person, a solo parent, a disabled person, or a superannuitant, gets the absolute best advice and support we can give. Order the Leader of the Office will stand with her and apologise. I withdraw and apologise. Point of order, what was the uh, aspect that offended uh, the rulings of the Speaker? Because I, I genuinely would like to learn. Uh, well, the, if, if the member doesn't understand that, um, I'm happy to give him a tutorial later, but I don't think we need to have it in front of the whole House. Supplementary question, Louise Upstam. Supplementary question to the Minister. Will the decision to cease the role of the Regional Commissioner for Nelson Marlborough and West Coast and to have this run role done by the Wellington Commissioner improve services in these regions. Mr Speaker, despite this being an operational matter, I cannot consider this move as a mistake. Nelson has not been absorbed into Wellington. It will continue to be an MSD region in its own right with its own senior management team. Our work and income has a significant presence regionally, and I'm assured that MSD is committed to maintaining the excellent level of service the region expects. Supplementary question. Order. Order. Can I just recommend to members that they be very careful about the nature of their interjections? Supplementary question. How is the decision to relocate the MSD Regional Commissioner for Nelson, Marlborough and West Coast to Wellington, consistent with the coalition agreement and promise that states the government will relocate government services to the regions. As I stated in my previous answer, this is an operational matter, but I can assure those living in Nelson that they will continue to get the excellent service from their local work and income New Zealand office and MSD that they can reasonably expect. Maureen Pugh. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Does the government now consider the West Coast to be part of Wellington? <laughs> Order. That's, there's no responsibility for that. Um, a, a, a point of order. She's not the member for Minister for Geography. No. No, that's quite right and quite evident from the way she's behaving in a ministry. Does the member have a point of order? I do, because the question simply asked, in response to the uh, uh, answers given by the minister, uh, does the government consider that the West Coast is now part of Wellington? What's wrong with that? If that is, it's obviously the case because it's what they're doing. Order, order. 
or I, I, I mean, I don't know if the member's sort of serious in his approach. If, if the member wanted to ask that question in relation to MSD districts, uh, or working income districts, or where commissioners cover, then some of that should have been included in the question. None of it was. That concludes oral questions. That concludes oral questions. Sorry? No, one, more. one more. Sorry? No, no, no more. I apologise. The, 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 uh, the opposition's run out of supplementary questions. Um, that concludes oral questions. Would some honourable member clear to move that the House take note of miscellaneous business? Speaker, the I so move. So, Mr Speaker, tomorrow's budget day. Right. It's budget day tomorrow. The